This is new player action now from week 9, one week to go between Matt Powell and Damien Furtado. Matt Powell at the bottom of the screen is the recorder, so we're going to look at his cards first. He's up against Damien at the top. Looks like, what is this? Looks like a brew. I can see Tat Yova, who's in the EDH All-Star now. Uh, not seen in standards. and Or is this just straight up blue-green? Goes to the champion of the wits. And a Rivers Rebuke. Yes, yeah, so he's, he's on a brew here against Esper. Uh, Damien's playing some sort of Esper build. Both these players, you can see the points, have had pretty solid seasons. I think they should, sh they're short of uh, playing finals this time around, but uh, still very, very good performances. And Matt Powell's been a pretty consistent um, recorder and uploader as well. Uh, you can see the wayward so first Wayward Sawtooth got a disallow. The second one... Well, this one doesn't really matter because... He doesn't have excess car, uh, lands to play anymore. Although it's, it, it is going to combo nicely with um, Thematic Compass. The Glimmer of Genius there. So we'll see if Damien's on the traditional... Uh, oh, his Teferi, so he's not mucking around. He's on the traditional uh, Esper Control build. Six cards in hand. Two thematic compasses. Well, the land is. He's going to lose one because. The two, four, six, eight. Eight permanents. He's going to lose one because the land is legendary and it's not a may flip, it's a must flip. Search for Skanda comes down. Teferi will untap those lands. And he's just struggling for mana here. He's going to tap a thematic compass so you'll get the land that he needs. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. So it's going to put him to nine. So Wayward Swordtooth can actually attack next turn. So Damien needs to find something to right now. Takes down Archer of Araska because that, that was going to draw him cards next turn. But what he has done here is it's enabled the... Okay, Fatal pushes the Sword Tooth. It's enabled the Thematic Compass to go and find another land because he only had two available, but now he's got three. But I, I think with a Teferi in play and an absolute ton of mana and six cards available, this is looking pretty solid for Damien in game one. Raska's Contempt on the Champion, so that no flashbacks there. So he's going to go for Tatyova first, so he can get the card draw. Five cards in hand on the other side, one of them's a Counterspell, unfortunately. Two, four, five, so this is going to make him six mana. So he's short of flipping the Compass. So he goes for an, uh, an Escanta activation, finds a Disallow. So the Disallow is going to actually stop the Field of Ruin if he wants to. Now he's got to choose. Does he want to run it up Excavator first or does he want a Field of Ruin first? So he's going for the... He's going to Disallow that. So he's, he's not going to keep his Escanta. So here we go. They're going to flip and... Oh, that's a nice play. I like that from Matt Powell. With the second trigger on the stack, he's gone for a Field of Ruin, which will actually make use of that mana before he has to sacrifice it to take down the Escanta. Then it flips, and very nice. But green-blue, I don't see how he can beat Teferi in, with green-blue colors. Okay, that'll work. Commit. So he's going to fight over this. 
second syncopate from Damien. But Teferi's closing in on an ultimate now. So he's going to have to untap Matt's lands. You can see he does there. Not a big deal in this matchup. River's Rebuke will get rid of Teferi if he wants to. Yeah, I, I think you play this first. Bleed out a few more counter spells. Which one does he want to get back? Gets back Wayward Sword Tooth. Can actually attack because he's got the City's Blessing. Cast Down will take it down though. Still plenty of cards in hand. Has to untap two of Matt's lands again. What does he want to get? He's going to go for Roman Up Excavator this time. A 13-13. That's vicious, and that's going to get a Vraska's Contempt pretty quickly. So Teferi's a turn away from Ultimate here. So River's Rebuke it is now. As he disallows the trigger on that, so this might enable him to fire off the River's Rebuke. Cause he's had a lot of disallows. If he's got a Torrential Gear Hulk, we're going to Game 3. He does have the Gear Hulk, so game oh sorry, game two. That was quite a quite a drawn out game one for standard. And Teferi Ultimate will mean we're going to game two. Second gear Hulk comes down. Glimmer of Genius. This is not a draw, this is a look. So it's not gonna Oh it is, it's a draw? Oh, okay, so it's a um Yeah, he's gonna concede that. Oh I this this is a problem I've mislabeled here, so this is actually game two of standard. He's an error of promise. This is going to get him um, a zombie as well if it's not negated. Nice ramp going on here. He's up to five. Uh, so he's brought in duress. I'm a bit surprised by that. He didn't really see anything in the first game that would suggest... Now that's trouble, Scarab God. This could be over pretty quickly. Multani's going to check the Scarab God, but you'd assume there's probably removal spell on the other side. Vraska's Contempt. He can block with the Scarab God here. He does. He chooses not to. So he's going to Glimmer of Genius to try and find the answer. He could have blocked with Scarab God and got it back, but um, he's hoping to find something of Glimmer. Uh, well, he's got Lethal on board on the, the other way, so he'd assume that there's some sort of a no, that's going to be a good one. He can actually force a counter spell out here. Gear Hulk, you'd assume. Yep. But we could be going to game three, I think. Uh, 
a super risky swinging that scarab god so we, we, we're gonna have game three now okay i've labeled it correctly this time So pretty nice brew here from um, Matt Powell. It's a kind of a ramp deck and to m taking advantage of Molotani with the lands. Um, you can see Negate there. He's going to negate the Glimmer. No turn 5. No turn five um, to ferry there. Damien down to three cards. Gets a gear hulk, so Glimmer's going to fix that. As Teferi arrives on scene, bounces the creature, but there's a second one. This draws an essence scatter, but its thematic's going to flip here. Th three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. So that's going to check the, the Gear Hulk. Gear Hulk's not going to do anything now. As he gets Multani back. Wait, what happened to the... I, I missed something there. Failed to ruin the arch. Something happened to his thematic compass. I didn't see what it was. And there's a counter spell, so this is not good now. So he's a turn away. Champion of Wits. If this gets counted. And it gets counted. So Damien's going to take. Damien takes standard two games to one. And we're on to modern. Looks like Matt Powell here on uh, Ponza. As Damien keeps up the, the keeps up the control route, Celestial Colonnade. Now th this is going to put a lot of pressure on um, his mana here. Uh, going to force him to have a lot of counter spells. See so path to exiles. But we're going to see a blood break. He would have countered that right there if he had a counter spell like a mana leak, and he didn't do it. So that tells me he doesn't have anything. And we're going to. Okay, so he's on Jess Guy, not straight blue white. We're going to see a blood braid elf next turn. Oh, no, actually, I'd be tempted to Molten Rain here. Uh, into a tireless tracker, that's a nice pickup. You can see he's got the fetch land next turn for the tracker as well. Oh, um, he's tapped out for that. Blood Moon's going to be brutal here. He's going to resolve the Blood Moon too because there's only one, two, three. Even if he, you know, oh no, I was going to say he's he's taking the stomping ground like that. Spell Pierce is the only thing that can save him, but this deck won't play Spell Pierce, so he's going to go and fetch a basic here. Down to seven. So very quick game one victory here for Matt. We're on to game two. You can see he just quickly... This deck needs the some sort of ramp. So yeah, I, I'd go Utopia Sprawl here because the reason being that the Jeskai deck won't have any enchantment removal. But it certainly has creature removal, so Arbor Elf is not as powerful. Uh, 
but he's not going to be able to play a... If he, he needs a... I was going to say, he needs a mountain, and he's got it, so he's going to Blood Moon turn 2 here. No, he, he's fetched the wrong... No, that's okay. Yep. I forgot the Utopia Spore has the red. So this is pretty ugly now for Damien. Going to take down that blue source. Only reds on the other side. Stephen Gottlieb has jumped into chat to watch as well. Here's Inferno Titan. We're seeing a very fast a modern here. This one's over, I think. With two st of a Stone Rain and a Molten Rain, there's no getting out of this one. After after Damien basically controlled Matt out of Standard, Matt's turned around and controlled Damien out of Modern. And we're going to Legacy. And Matt's sticking with the same plan. Looks like this Mono Red Prison deck. He's going to be able to turn one Chalice for one. He's on the play here, so if there's no Force of Will... Oh, he's not going for the Chalice. He wants to go turn to Blood Moon. But Gitaxian Probe has the jigs up. Plays a Delver. He knows about the Blood Moon now. Has he got Force of Will? He does. Uh, Pyromancer comes into the play. But this deck now has got nothing going on. I, th I think you still want a Chalice for one here. Well, he exiled the Chrome Mox. I don't think he needed to do uh, the Spirit Guide to Chrome Mox. Okay, so he wanted another red. Delva flips, revealing Force of Will, so this is not looking good for Matt now. Although three cards in hand, the Force of Will will mean that he's going to Lightning Bolt. So he's down to one card. We know it's the Force of Will, so it can't do anything here. Delva down. Blood Moon. He's going to crack the Misty for a basic. Probably a blue to turn on his cantrips. Wait, did he? He just fetched a non basic. Chalice for one. And this is. Yeah, Damien fetched a non basic. I'm guessing. That, does he not have basic swamps in his deck? As Fiery Confluence is going to do some serious work here. I think Matt's got Legacy Game 1 by the looks of it. If this Chandra resolves, it's over. It does. We're, we're about to go to Game 2. I think you plus Chandra first, just in case he found something better than a Rebel Master. What was it? A Blood Moon. You can see Damien's down to 70, and we're going to Legacy Game 2, because Kozilek's Return has come in. Uh, Matt's actually got turn 1 Blood, blood Moon here. So we'll see if there's a force of will on the other side. Cast Chrome Mox. Is he gonna exile Simeon Spirit Guide? Here we go. Turn one Blood Moon. No force of will on the other side. And this is ugly again. Blood Moon plays very nicely of City of Traders, so he doesn't have to sack the City of Traders. But I think this one's over. Matt's very quickly, just as I say that, Ancient Grudge.
Does he have an answer to Chandra? He does not. So two cards in hand. See what he can find. And this one's over. 